Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and more. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news, when we go live, or when we upload. In today's video, I know, it's more of Real Housewives of Atlanta news. Look, it's been a crazy week, and I'm excited for this new season because it seems as if Things are just boiling, boiling, boiling. I saw that you guys really enjoyed my last video on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And look, the comment section is hot. You have every right to share your opinion if you disagree with me or if you agree with me. It is what it is. But as always, I remind you to be respectful. I could easily turn off the comments, but I'm not going to. I want to see what you guys have to say. And look, as I said before, you can agree with me or you can disagree with me. It is what it is. But let's get into the, wait, first of all, I know there's a lot of news out there. And you know, here in the channel, we talk about a whole range of hot topics. And we're not talking about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck getting back together. They are back together. There's literally a picture of them cuddled up going into, I forgot where, where they were going to, I don't know if it was a home, a restaurant, what, whatever it may be. Benifer is back together. But if you saw my collaboration with Femtaro, then you know it's not going to last long. Well, you know what? Everyone needs a rebound. Congrats, Jennifer. I know Jennifer really wants the love of her life and I hope that she finds it. It's not Ben though. Anyways, let's get into this. So DeBrat, as you know, is a colleague of Portia Williams on Dish Nation. DeBrat has things that she would like to say about this whole Simon Go Gobadia situation. She is tired of hearing, it, hearing about it. And I know a lot of you agree with her. But she also weighed in on this Fallon Gobadia interview. As you know, Fallon Gobadia sat down with our friend Up and Adam for his YouTube channel. There will be an exclusive interview airing on June 10th. The trailer dropped this week and everybody is going crazy and having opinions on it, including Chris Bassett from the Real Housewives of Potomac. We talked all about that. I will link more information in the description of this video. It also continued into, into on Twitter last night. So the Brett was saying that there are three sides, Portia and Simon's side and Fallon's side and the truth. And we always say that. But the Brett was also saying, why is she speaking? Why, why is she, who is she? She ain't a star. Well, she became a star when she went on the show, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. People were interested in Fallon after she made an appearance on the show. She isn't the biggest name star. But she, she's, she's up there. She sort of, DeBrat made it seem that, oh, is she an influencer? What did she do before the show? I mean, a lot of people can say the same thing about Portia Williams. What did Portia do before the show? Part of the reason why Portia has the opportunities that she has now is because she did the show. But of course, I don't know the personal relationship DeBrat and Portia have. I don't know if it's more than just colleagues, if they are actual friends off of the Dish Nation program. And look, Friends should defend friends. Y'all saw I defended up and Adam uh, yesterday on, on my page. But at the same time, <laughs> if you're tired of hearing about it, I wouldn't say anything about it. Since we are defending friends, her saying, who is this guy she's doing the inter interview with? Well, he's an up and coming named up and Adam here on YouTube. And you're going to hear more from him. Debrat. I mean, people could say things about you. Where's the brat been? There hasn't been a the brat uh, song in forever. I'm just saying. I'm not just. I love the brat, but I'm, what I'm saying is like the shade that she was throwing at Fallon. You don't know Fallon. You don't know Fallon's story. She was saying that Fallon cheated because, according to the brat, well, the word is that she cheated on Simon first. Is that what Portia told you? <laughs> For what we're hearing, Up and Adam stopped by Unwind with Tasha K and gave us a little sneak peek of, well, not a little sneak peek. They didn't show any footage, but gave us an idea of some of the things that they will be discussing in his exclusive interview with Fallon Golbadia. Many people have been asking Fallon to speak. I don't know if Fallon intended to speak, but I've seen it when we've talked about this Portia and Simon situation. I've seen it in the comments. People have said, where is Fallon? Has Fallon said anything? People want Fallon to say something. People want Fallon to speak. And this is her opportunity. People are wondering, why did she choose Up and Adam? 
Up and Adam did an interview with her almost, I think, six months ago. So there already was a relationship. There already was a rapport. And at the end of the day, she chooses who she wants to interview with. That's totally up to her. And if she, and of course, anyone is going to do an interview. There are lots of people out here that would have wanted that interview. And I see you guys. I see you guys are a little, a little mad. <laughs> you you, you got to learn how to hide it a little bit better. <laughs> Look, what's meant for you is meant for you. Let it go. Let's let's hold Adam up in this in this moment and salute him for this opportunity. I'm excited to see what Fallon has to say in in regards to this interview. And look, everyone's speaking about it. Not only did Debrat speak about it, so did Eva Marcel. If you don't remember Eva Marcel, winner of America's Next Top Model, also did three seasons on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Well, Eva dropped by Wendy Williams because she had a few things that she was promoting. And of course, Wendy had to ask her about the whole Simon Gobadia and Portia mess. Well, Eva was just like, this. the whole situation is funky. She also said that she believes in the institution of marriage and the reconciliation of marriage. I think a lot of people could agree with everything that Eva said. Eva also said, even though she, her and Portia are not friends and they don't like each other, she said, just as off the strength of, we used to work with each other, we used to be cool with each other, I wouldn't hook someone else up with, with Dennis, her, her baby's father. She said, that's girl code. And we had a whole conversation a few weeks ago about girl code, boy code, all that other stuff code. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> But this is what this is what Eva said. Take a look. What are your thoughts? Oh, I don't have any. Um, I take the institution of marriage very seriously. Mm -hmm. I take uh, commitment um, and uh, reconciliation very seriously. And so I don't think much about her um, outside of the fact that it goes across my Instagram, but we're not friends. Had you ever known Mike or, or this man? Did this you know this man? The situation's just funky. It is. She got the tattoo. And I, listen, to say, to, say be, to be politically correct, I do not like Portia, she's not my friend. I still would never hook up anyone with Dennis either because there's a code. Okay. You know what I mean? Like at some point she was my friend. Uh -huh. At some point we were cool. And for that alone, I wouldn't do it off of just girl code. Do you, code. do you or Mike know this guy Simon since he's based in Atlanta? Do you, did you know him before? No, I do uh, notice that he just put public figure on his Instagram. So I know he has like places here in Atlanta, but Mike and I are a real at-home uh, steak and cigar bar in the suburbs kind of couple. Mm -hmm. Like we're not mm. the city crew. So, Got you. no. All right, so the Housewives, you left after two seasons. Um, I did three, surprisingly. Three? God, and you survived. I know. At, you weren't there for Strippergate. Did you watch? You know what's so crazy, Wendy? So when the show, first of all, I heard all about it because my girl is Candy and Cynthia and uh, Kenya. Those are, that's, those are my girls. And so, and we all have our own, oh my God, that picture's at my house. <laughs> yeah. We have our own separate and together relationship. So I talk to the girls and I keep my information confidential, mm -hmm. but they all gave me the T, he, and the he. Now, the coincidence was that my new television show, he's on my show, Wendy. Wait, so okay, my Bolo, player, okay. Who you know, uh, stage name, Bolo, okay. is on All the Queen's Men. And the day we went into the bubble to film the show was when the show aired. So we were all wow. in our little houses, quarantined, watching it at the same time. And then we had to go to set together the next day. But he's an actual actor on the show. I heard he's more oh, than he's just phenomenal. a stripper. He he's absolutely phenomenal. So first day of set, I walk up to him because I'm the queen and it's all the queen's men. So he's one of my men. Right. So I walk up to him and I say, hi, I'm Eva. I play madam. And I want you to know that, look, I come from reality, but you can make this what you want it. So first of all, what would you like to be called? And he said, my name is Michael. So I address him and extracted others to address him as Michael. That's his name. That's a star. Michael Bowen. Mm -hmm. 
but he does an amazing job dancing and being very authentic in the world. But when it comes to his acting, his uh-huh. character's name is Doc. He's he's he lands the plane every time. He's so good, Wendy. He's so good. Good for him. You know, another thing about the Housewives, though. I think that Candy's outgrown the show. Like, I like her so much, and I think that she's too big for the housewives. I know she's got stuff to sell, music and things like that, but I just think Riley is too old now, watching everything go down. She and Todd have got a real marriage, and you know, marriage gets kind of shaky sometimes on reality TV. They got um, Ace now, and I think she's out. She's a bigger star than this. And Blaze. Yes. They have the new baby. You know, I feel like at some point you're going to outgrow the show. It's like retirement. You got, you know, you you don't look forward to it, but you know what's going to happen. So I would say prepare for it. Candy is a very strategic woman. She is a very, very savvy um, entrepreneur and businesswoman. So I think if she wants to bust the move, she does it, but does it does it in a way that keeps great relationships with Bravo, NBC Universal, yeah. because she has her TV show, she's on Shy now, she's doing her thing, she has her other TV show on Bravo. I'd love to see that the, there were real friendships that were formed between her, Candy, Kenya, and Cynthia. I think that I think I would have loved it, loved it more now if Eva was on the show because it seems as if there is a true genuine friendship there. But it is what it is. Eva didn't bring what we need Eva to bring on the show. Eva also says that you know the whole Bolo situation as you saw, they literally when it aired were working with Michael aka Bolo. I, I wonder if he said anything, but Eva Eva already knew a lot. She said Cynthia, Kenya, and Candy told her everything. Everything. <laughs> Are we over the Bolo situation? I just thought about that. I was like, okay. It was cute for a minute. Over it. I'm more excited about what this new season will bring. Look, the new season is supposed to start filming this month from what we hear. No word if they started filming it or this filming or who's coming back. Look, we will be following it. Don't forget, here on the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, yes, we love the Housewives. We follow the Housewives. We report on the news of the Housewives. We recap the Housewives. But you're also getting daily and consistent hot topics like Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck hooking up. (laughs) That's still going on. Kim Kardashian talking about her marriage woes on the final season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. There's a lots of stuff happening in, happening in the news. There's complications with Meghan Markle's pregnancy. Oof. We will be following these stories. We appreciate all of your, your comments. Let me know your thoughts on these hot topics in the comment section, but also be respectful of myself, but more importantly, be respectful of each other. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when there's breaking news, when we go live or when we upload.